Good morning friends, Samuel this side and today again my sister is there. Hello. Now we will start with our presentation. Moses. When Israel was slave of the king of Egypt named Pharaoh, Pharaoh announced that all the boy child would be killed and girl child would be set in the palace as a worker. An acute child was born in an Israelite family. But there was a problem that he couldn't be able to live in that family because Pharaoh would kill him. After three months, her mother put him inside in a basket and released him in the river Nile. The queen was bathing in that river and when she saw the basket in the river, she opened and found the baby inside. She named him Moses. She found the baby cute and she declared that from now on she would be living, he would be living in the palace. Moses grew and got educated in the palace. When he grew up, he realized that Israelites were slaves and they were his people. So he decided to leave everyone and go far away and start guarding sheep. One day he saw a bush was not burning even when it was between the fire. God talked to him that his people Israelites were in trouble and you have to go and say to Pharaoh that let my people go. So he goes back to the Egypt and there he met his brother Aaron. He stand in front of the king and said that let my people go. But the pharaoh refused to let them go. Because he disobeyed God and God sent ten problems in the Egypt. First, the water was changed into blood. Second, everywhere there were frogs, frogs and frogs. Then the animals started dying and many more problems came. And at last, Pharaoh let everyone go. Pharaoh army came back and started chasing Israelites. Moses prayed to God for help. And God helped him. He divided the sea in two pieces. Everyone crossed the Red Sea. But when the army of Pharaoh came, they drowned in the water. Everyone became happy because God has saved them. Now, the moral of the story is never afraid because God is always with you. Thanks for watching and please like, subscribe and share. Now, I would be back in my next presentation. Bye.